And luckily I looked down because I almost stepped on, I think, a water moccasin. Ooh. Let's see. There's his tail right there. There he is right there. Well, good morning. Got the camper hooked up. Checked out the lights and everything, brakes, make sure everything uh, was uh, ready. Uh, got it all loaded, heading up north here to North Texas, close to Sherman, another public land hunt. Actually gonna be uh, trying turkey uh, this year, first time ever. So I'm gonna go up there. Uh, it's actually public land. Uh, weather doesn't look too good got a front coming in right now and they're saying uh four days of rain and possible hail again just got uh, another front that just came through last week and it was i think we got about three inches in uh, a couple of hours so i'm just hoping that it bypasses where i'm at so i can at least uh, get a couple couple of days of good hunting so i'm looking forward to giving the uh, turkey hunt a try see what it's all about catch you later Well, made it to my uh, destination right here, Cadu National Grasslands. Uh, just made it to the camp spot right here. Got my uh, trailer all set up. Uh, definitely, uh, it's being used here. It's kind of overgrown, but uh, I noticed somebody's over here uh, fishing right now. So I'm going to go down there, talk to them, and uh, see what's going on with this place right here. See if there's any turkeys here. So... I'm going to go down there, check out the lake, check out the area, and I'm probably going to start scouting here probably about a half an hour here. All right, just went down there, just talked to Daryl, local. He just lives down the street right here. His property's down there. He said uh, he heard a turkey gobble this morning, and a couple of hens crossed his road over there. So he said they're definitely here, which is good news. Um, he said there's definitely... Whole bunch of turkeys down there by uh, the dam over there so he said if you can get back there that'd be the that'd be the ideal spot to be hunting at so actually right now i'm gonna probably change my clothes and go there and see if i can get back off in there see how far i can get back there so uh all right made it back off in here uh pretty much gonna have to walk now looks like there's uh no driving back this way but uh, a lot of footprints here. So definitely is being hunted, hunted, which is uh, great. So I'm gonna get up here. It's probably gonna be at a good uh, 50 yards to uh, my to the clearing and uh, see what's going on over here. I went down the road a little bit, which I thought there was a turn in there, but actually turned out to be a private property. So uh, now I'm heading back this way, walking, and uh, about ready to start doing some calling, see if I can hear some turkeys. Well, pretty much walked back here, probably about a good uh, good mile right now. So far, no signs of anything. Still haven't made it to uh, that dam over there where uh, he said there's definitely uh, some turkeys way back there. So. Uh, Still walking around this lake right here. Uh, no signs. It's been very quiet. Probably maybe too humid right now. So I'm just watching the trees. See if I see anything in the trees. I'm not sure if they're down or back up in the trees yet. So I'm gonna keep looking.
that scared the hell out of me. As soon as I uh, came out of the woods right there, I started walking back down this trail right here. And luckily I looked down because I almost stepped on, I think, a water moccasin. Ooh. Let's see. There's his tail right there. There he is right there. I shot him right in the midsection right here. Ooh. Scared the hell out of me. Oh, I ain't gonna take no chances. I won't go around that sucker. Ah, damn. Well, I made it back here to the... Uh, the dam part right here, like where the uh, Daryl said the turkeys are back here, but uh, you can't you can't get back off in there because uh, they came through here and chopped on all the trees and everything. So it's almost virtually hard to get back off in there. So I'm gonna have to go a different direction. Definitely watch my where I step now. I just almost uh, stepped on a water moccasin a minute ago. I uh, just shot them because uh, I hate snakes. So. Well, it looks like a turkey just came through here. They look uh, pretty fresh. I'm gonna see if I can uh, call him, see if he's nearby. Well, I made it back to camp here. Uh, only thing I seen was those uh, turkey tracks down there, just about 50 yards from the truck. But uh, as I was on the way back here, I ran into uh, Daryl, who was fishing down there, and uh, we started talking and everything. And uh, actually, his property actually bumps the edge of the wildlife management here, right here. And he actually gave me permission to uh, walk down his property line down to where he heard the gobbles uh, this morning. So, uh, so I'm gonna go down there this morning tomorrow morning excuse me and uh, so I'm gonna go down there tomorrow morning and uh, see what I can find see what I can see and everything and uh, he even asked uh, offered to take me across the lake over there and uh, show you show me some uh, other places where turkeys are known to be at so looking forward hopefully uh, I can get another at least a good uh, day in tomorrow hunting before this uh, storm comes through predicting uh, late Tuesday all day Wednesday so I'm hoping uh, to get a gobbler by tomorrow hopefully no later all right have a good evening and I'll see you tomorrow morning can uh, walk the fence line down here until we get into the uh, wildlife management area so I don't hear nothing right now it's pretty quiet so just gonna hopefully uh, it's my only day to get the uh, opportunity to hunt today because uh, front's coming in tonight so hopefully uh, I'll get lucky tonight, today. Got two nice stuff. Well, been walking this uh, fire break here for about a good mile. It's been uh, extremely quiet. Uh, the only thing I've seen is a lot of, a lot of hog, ho hog tracks and uh, hogs digging up the ground back here. But uh, no turkeys, nothing. Probably just going to go a little bit more further and uh, call a few more times, see if I hear anything, and uh, slowly work my way back again to the entrance. Uh, it's been uh, kind of like a raining off and on. So I don't know if that's going to have them uh, hem hemmed up a little bit. So, let's keep on walking. Well, that's the end of the trail right here. End of the fire break. Pretty much uh, dead in right here. And uh, all quiet. 
no uh, no gobblers calling back nothing so haven't seen any tracks either it's just a lot of uh, deer and plenty of hogs but uh, it's been awfully quiet this morning so I'm gonna slowly walk all the way back to uh, where my truck is and uh, make another game plan for this afternoon well uh made it back to the truck pretty much uh pretty quiet it's pretty windy you got all that construction over there where they're creating a new lake over there by uh lake crockett they're going to expand it all out and everything so it's been so noisy you really can't hear much but otherwise uh got a good walk in this morning every time i stopped uh, i just got ate up by mosquitoes couldn't even make no decent calls though but uh Back at the truck, I'm gonna go get me some breakfast and uh, see if I can meet up with Daryl. And he said he was gonna show me a different spot, possible to hunt. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna look at the weather first. I suppose they got a severe storm, possible hail, and raining all day tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna have to make a call there if I'm gonna stay here. All right, let me go back to get something to eat now. Uh, here's a little update. I went down that way to the uh, edge of the uh, lake here. Uh, about an hour walk back at, here and there. Uh, did find a uh, somebody's blind and a lawn chair still left back there. But uh, didn't see no tracks of a uh, turkey or anything. Called, must have, I must have called uh, 12 times. Nothing's responding back. Uh, just rain right now lightly and it's going to rain tonight. And probably for the next two days. So I'm, uh, I guess I'm gonna call this uh, my turkey hunt before this year. Uh, gonna have to do a lot more research. Maybe get some contacts and uh, see if anybody wants to go hunting, so I can uh, learn a little bit more about turkey hunting. Uh, probably get some uh, hunting boards and check them to check the chats. So probably uh, I'm definitely gonna stay tonight and then hit the road probably first thing in the morning. All right, thanks, bye.